Yeah. Ugh. Chalk. It was like I made chalk. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Daria, and today we're making kabocha squash brownies. It sounds gross, but I promise you it's not going to be. I just really learned about these squash a couple of weeks ago, kabocha squash. It's technically a winter squash. And also like, I don't know what's happening in Chicago, but we've been having like July weather this week. I'm not complaining. It's been lovely, but not quite like time for the hardier like fall and winter foods yet, but I've been loving this squash. I've been craving brownies ever since I talked about them in my video last week, and I've been craving this squash all the time. So I thought, why not combine the two and do a little baking experiment today? I'm usually not someone who bakes. I'm not good at baking. I'm, a, I'm good at cooking, I'm not very good at baking. So we'll see how today goes. I am gonna follow a bit of a recipe, but in typical Daria fashion, I'm going to be making a few adjustments just cause I don't have some of the ingredients and I also don't like some of the ingredients that this recipe specifically calls for. Anyway, enough chatting. Let's talk about some health benefits. We gotta get a little bit of nutrition facts in this video or it wouldn't be my channel. Really high in beta carotene. They're high in vitamin C and some B vitamins as well, rich in fiber. And they're also kabocha squash, lower in carbs than butternut squash. It has like half the carbs as butternut squash. So this is a great lower car carb, or oh my God. <laughs> This is a great lower carb alternative to something like a butternut squash. It also tastes better, I think. It sort of tastes like a cross between a sweet potato and a pumpkin. It has like a nutty, sweet flavor. It's amazing. I'm really quite obsessed. That's my oven, just got done preheating, so I'm gonna get to work. Just so you know, you can't eat the skin from these, so they're so easy. The hardest part, truly, of cooking it is to cut the thing in half. Let's just get into it. invest in some better knives. This thing is so dull. Ugh. Woo! It's like a workout. I'm very exhausted from that effort. So this is what it looks like when it's cut in half. I am gonna scoop out the seeds and if you wanted you can definitely roast the seeds inside the squash same as you would any other squash. gonna cook at 400 degrees for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna pop in and flip them flip the squash and then put it back in for another 15 so I've got like 30 minutes to kill basically so something that my great-grandma used to include in all of her recipes was like a chore that you would do while you were waiting for other things to happen so it would be like put the cake in the oven make the bed <laughs> and I think that's uh, fun and also helps you stay productive while cooking. We have this little spice rack that fell down a couple of days ago because I think the nails were too small. When it comes to things like hammering and um, you know hanging shelves on walls, I'm not an expert, but I do think that if we have like a slightly larger nail, that it'll stay up. So I'm gonna try and work on this while the squash is in the oven, because why not? monster nail. I'm gonna say I hope I don't make a giant hole in the wall. So I'm just going over this recipe to see what ingredients I will need to have ready for this once the squash gets out of the oven. Looks like this recipe is calling for coconut flour, and I'm not really a big fan of coconut flour. It's super absorbent, like it's really dry, so it absorbs liquid. And I also, it just makes everything taste like coconut. And I don't want coconut flavored brownies, I want kabocha squash flavored brownies. 
So I'm gonna use oat flour, which is what I have. And sometimes when I've tried making swaps with these gluten-free flours before, I'm not gluten-free. I just like to use oat flour. But anyway, when I've made swaps like this before with like oat flour for coconut flour or like tapioca flour, I had a disaster time baking with tapioca flour ones. I made these horrible cookies. They were chalk. It was like I made chalk. <laughs> they were so, so bad. So I'm hoping that this little swap I'm gonna make will work. I'm gonna just like go based on texture. And if this is a disaster, at least it was fun. The squash is nearly done. It should be done in like 10 minutes. Nearly, I've been saying like nearly and quite and lovely quite a bit <laughs> lately. I've been watching a lot of uh, British people on YouTube and also the Great British Baking Show. So I feel like my brain has just become, I wish I was British anyway. Yeah, so we've got quite a bit of other ingredients that we're gonna be using. Like I mentioned just a second ago, we're gonna use oat flour today. It doesn't have like a really harsh, strong flavor of any kind, it's just really nice. We are gonna have three eggs. If you're vegan and you don't wanna use eggs, you could definitely do like chia seeds or flax seeds instead as an alternative. Uh, we're gonna have some vanilla and some maple syrup. This is gonna be our sweetener that we're using. I don't like to use cane sugar ever. Uh, that's just my personal preference. So I'll usually go for like a maple syrup, honey or dates are a great natural sweetener. They're called nature's candy for a reason. They're so sweet and they're so good. I know some people do like rice malt syrup too. We're gonna do some coconut oil, cocoa powder. So if you wanted to, you could use cacao also, cacao. It's fun to say, cacao, I feel like a bird, cacao. And cacao is not processed with high heat the same way that cocoa is. So they started as the same like bean and cocoa is just like processed differently under heat, which removes some of the nutrients from it. So raw cacao actually has a higher nutrient density than cocoa powder. But when you bake it, it's all gonna turn out to be the same anyway. Cause when you put the cacao powder in baking, the nutrients are gonna be removed that way too. So it's, it's a little more expensive and for me, it's just not worth it in baking. Cacao powder though is like a great thing to use if you want like a chocolate smoothie. Anyway, a lot of explanation about cocoa powder. And then finally, did I say cinnamon? We're using cinnamon. And then lastly, just a little bit of baking powder. So, what time is it? We've still got like four to five minutes, I think before the squash comes out and then I'm gonna let it cool for just a little bit and then we will get assembling with our brownies. I'm slipping away. So don't let me go now. I read the recipe again and it said to peel the skin off before pureeing this to use it in the recipe but I don't think I'm gonna do that I would like to leave the skin on and we'll see how it turns out I'm slipping away This is the christening bite, correct? The christening bite. Shall we do it in tandem? Yeah, sure. 
Okay. I've got mine. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Very moist. We're looking for an honest response. Very moist. Hot, moist. I'm a big fan, honestly. It tastes great. I was supposed to put chocolate chips inside too, and I think that, that would have helped. Now that is a pro tip, everybody. You want to have some type of different texture in your brownie. Because mm. this tastes amazing, but the texture gets rather stodgy. It's stodgy, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh -huh. I did put some maple syrup mm. on top too. Yeah. For the people. If you Just need a little, little extra uh, sugar, you can go into your pantry and you can sprinkle some powdered sugar on over it. That's what I like to do if I want to make something sweeter. Like, mm -hmm. if I have some granola and I want it to be sweeter, or cereal if I want it to be sweeter, salads, powdered sugar works on salads. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> now, there's peel in this, correct? Yeah, I was supposed to peel them, but um, I chose not to. I was going to say I like the peel. I do too. Because the only problem that I'm having really is the texture. Mm, it's, it's just a, too, it's too smooth. much of the same. It's too smooth. Mm -hmm. Silky. So if you're into silky brownies, silky. Like no I think they're really good. They're, they're like gooey, good. which is, I'm a big fan of gooey. So what would you describe this as though? Wet. Wet. <laughs> it's wet. It's, it's moist. It's not gooey. It's, it's moist. Yeah. It's and that's moist. better than dry. Sorry? Yes. Was there a problem with the volume? Yeah. I have the wrong size pan. Ah. Mm -hmm. Ah. Oh, mm -hmm. man. Well, that's on us. But I made a little foil boat as a sort of um, a barrier, a dam. <laughs> for the a levy? Yeah. Okay. Well. It tastes great. It I mean, tastes like I'm a brownie. Really, it's a little wet. <laughs> you said that, but what do you compare it to? Texture-wise. Give me a second. A pancake? Mm, like a doughy pancake. So um, if I were on the, the baking show, would I be going home this week? No way. Well... No. <laughs> oh, no. If you want me to be honest, it depends on the week. If this is like a semi-final bake, I might send you home. Wow. Okay. But semi-final, that's really good. So I made it to the semi-finals. I'm just with not this like bake. the best baker. I can agree with you there. Is that okay? Would you say I'm a better cook than baker? Yes. I would too. Yeah. I would make it again. I'd agree with you. I'd eat it again. I think I'm spoiled because I have Whole foods. Whole foods pastries. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if I didn't have any treats and you gave this to me, I would be, I'd be devouring it. Good. It's time to say goodbye to the camera, I think. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. It really helps us. Um, it really helps out. <laughs> Let's try that again. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go down below and hit subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like and share it with your friends because that really supports my channel. And don't be afraid to write a review because that really helps. A review? Yeah, like an Apple review. <laughs> I'm thinking of podcasts. <laughs> you could leave a comment. Bye!